Assalamualaikum and hi guys. So um, I'd like to actually answer some questions um, regarding the optimi optimization of the uh, morphine ring. So if you see from the uh, slide here, yeah, it's going to be a, a very brief video on the modifications of morphine and its derivative. Um, so there are two types of modifications. The first one would be the peripheral modifications and second one is on the rings. Yeah, the rings, the morphine rings. There are five rings, so the ring modifications are morphine. So under the peripheral modifications, there would be the variation of substituents. Yeah, so if you remember that the different substituents are being changed. Yeah, and also the extension of a structure. Yeah, uh, under the ring modification would be the simplification of the structure, meaning the removal of the rings. Yeah, and that will result in different. Um, uh, families of uh, morphine derivatives and also the rigidification of structures. So let's take a look on the peripheral modifications. There are quite a number of um, modifications that can be done on morphine. Um, so the one in red would be um, re represent those parts of morphine that, that, that are intolerant to any modification. Yeah. In other words, that um, if you change the 3OH, the aromatic ring, and the amino group here, yeah, um, it would result in the loss of analgesic activity. Okay. Whereas the one in blue yeah, would actually indicate the parts of morphine that would tolerate. In other words, it won't suffer if you change the OH group on the sixth position, the analgesic property of morphine wouldn't suffer, wouldn't uh, change so much, yeah, compared to if you change it on the three position. Um, you have a look, um, I think in my lecture notes, I've um, put down in detail uh, what are the different modifications, so have a look at, um, at that. Those are very important. Yeah? Um, the third part of modification would be on the methyl group. This would involve the um, extension of the ring of the sorry uh, extension of the of the part of of the amino group, the, especially on the alkylation. Yeah, uh, usually it doesn't actually change much, except for if you see that if you increase the chain length. Yeah. Uh, it would result in the antagonism, meaning that the analgesic property will increase. Uh, when it comes to butyl, there's no analgesic property. Uh, wonder why? Yeah. Then you go to on to the five carbon or six carbon. It, it comes back. Yeah. And then if you actually extend it further and add in a phenyl group, an aromatic group, group, the the alcohol, the the uh, activity, the analgesic activity of morphine somehow increases to 14 times of that uh, of morphine yeah compared to morphine so um, have a look at nalofine have a look at uh, naloxone as well uh, look at the different structures um, that it would um, it, that involve and especially those those are actually the antagonist antagonists of morphine yeah the last part of the modification would be on the ring structures. If, as you know already, there are five uh, rings in morphine. Yeah, um, there's A, B, C, D, and E. So, if, for example, if you take out E, um, the E ring, yeah, leaving with the A, B, C, D, it would result in a nucleus that gives a totally a total loss of activity. In other words, that particular interaction is very important. Okay, um, if you take out ring D only, leaving with A, B, C, E, it would it would give a morphine structure. Yeah, have a look at the derivatives I've put down in my lecture notes. Do see the different derivatives um, and the activity it, it afforded as well, and also in terms of the side effects or the toxicity as well. Yeah. Um, and then if you take out ring C and D, it will give you a benzomorphinin. Yeah. Have a look again. What are they? Yeah. What um you know what kind of uh, activity uh, they give up compared to compared to morphine? Yeah. If you take out ring B, C, and D, leaving the aromatic ring, the OH group, and also it also retain this particular um, amino ring. 
yeah, piperidine ring. So this is called a four phenyl piperidine ring, and it gives um, two very clinically important um, morphine derivatives. They are pethidine and fentanyl. This uh, pethidine is being used um, in hospital for childbirth. Yeah, it is the analgesic of choice uh, for childbirth, whereas fentanyl. Um, due to its structure, have a look which part of the structure, it promotes the uh, the penetration of fentanyl across the BBB. So have a look again, how good are they compared to morphine? Yeah, um, and the structure will tell you the difference between morphine and the um, the new derivatives of morphine. Yeah, and if you take out four rings out of five. Yeah, leaving again the ring A and E. Eh, so, sorry, just leaving the ring A only. Yeah, is uh, that gives loperamide and methadone. Have a look again. I've it's all in my lecture notes. If if it is not in there, please refer to Patrick. So thank you for watching.